Hi there, Pisces. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac energy reading for you, Pisces, for the week of September 26th. All right, let's get right into it. Pisces, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. <laughs> if you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Surrender to the divine is your moon oracle card. Pisces, surrender to the divine. Give it up. Give it up to spirit, Pisces. You and your loved ones are safe. Interesting. That's a new moon in Cancer. So maybe you've got to give up the fear. Give up the fear that you're feeling a little unsafe. You're feeling a little uh, uneasy. Let's see why. What kind of animal spirit is walking with Pisces? Pisces. Let's see. Oh, the cosmic egg. <laughs> so you're holding on to some spiritual information. You are about to burst wide open with it. You're about to crack this egg wide open and it's going to change some things. You're going to really start to see spirit in your life here. You're going to start to feel spirit in your life here. So that's absolutely beautiful. Gazelle, there's that uneasiness, that jitteriness, that anxiety of um, feeling unsafe for some reason. Why are you feeling unsafe here, Pisces? Let's see. Let's get you a good tarot for up in the ether. What is Pisces not see coming, spirit? What is Pisces not see coming? Pisces. Pisces. King of air, king of swords. So really clear communication, real clear communication. You're not going to be guessing about what people are, what their intent is or what they're meaning by their words. You're going to understand their words very, very clearly. So that changes some things for you. Eight of earth, that's eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You've been working really hard at something. You've been, uh, yeah, hard at work, <laughs> but feeling uneasy about it. Let's see why. All right, we're going to pull three rows here. We're going to pull your mind space, your heart space, and the foundation or the reason for the reading. And we'll pull some clarification cards on some energies coming in at you. Right off the bat, we've got the King of Wands. That's the ancestral guide, some kind of uh, masculine energy coming forward. Somebody who has passed on that is still with you, still with you, and has your back and is really protective over you, is always ever watching. Uh, Nine of Swords, you've been up in your head, worried. Here's that fear. Here's that worry coming in, keeping you up at night, keeping you stressed and uh, uneasy. So we're going to get some clarification on that. Oh, God, that's why. Because the tower, because everything kind of felt, fell apart on you, just fell apart on you. Just when you thought you had a grasp on it, just when you thought you were in the going the right direction, you were on the right path. Spirit did a little course correction, not a little, a big course correction here, but it, it needed to happen to get you out of this sorrow and get you out of this fear. It was too much fear base going on, too much, too many fears going through your, your mind about what could happen or um, what has happened. I'm not sure about that, but it all came crumbling down. That was a false start. It was a false foundation here. So I know you're feeling overwhelmed with emotion right now. I can feel it. You're just overwhelmed, but you're in this transition period. Now you are transforming. Look at the butterflies coming from those bolts of lightning here. So you hang on, you hang on. This is going to be temporary. You're going to get some kind of information here to clear up this confusion, to clear up this storminess and this uh, anxiety that you're really feeling in your mind here, that you're thinking about anyway. This is your mind space. So you're thinking about this and you're wondering what happened. <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> All right, Pisces, we're going to we're going to shift this for you. How can we shift this energy for you for Pisces? Oh, look at this by believing in magic again, by creating your own magic again. Surrender all of this to the divine Pisces. There's out of your control. There's nothing that you can do about this. It happened. Something big happened to you, really knocked you off your feet, really knocked the wind out of you. You've been grieving for quite some time and um yeah, it's time to create this kind of new beginning, this kind of new portal for you. Jump through that portal. Just surrender that to the divine. There's nothing you can do about this false foundation, about this um, falling apart on you and just crumbling down right through your fingers, right when you thought you had a grasp on it. It's time to walk away from that fire that you built. I know you put a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of love, a lot of effort into this. It's time to walk toward that sunrise and something new here, something new because this was just too hard on on you and on your thoughts just made you too anxious too much 
too much to process here for Pisces. There's just way too much going on here with these major arcana. And they're, and they're cards of grief, cards of sorrow here. So you've got this guide, you've got this guy trying to lead you out of the stress, trying to lead you out of this sorrow here that you've been in for, for a minute. So um, let's see. Let's see what's in your heart. What is Pisces feeling? What is Pisces feeling? Knight of Pentacles. So this energy is gaining momentum. You're trying to get out of this. You're trying to make this change just happen already. I feel like you've been in this for a little while with the cosmic egg here. And you've been working on it. You've been chewing on it. But things just kept falling apart. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. Spirit did a course correction, like I said here, because you were too much in your head. You were too stressed. You were too anxious here. It's not healthy. It's just not healthy, Pisces. So now you've got this new portal to look in. Something's happened here where you've gotten a second chance here. You've gotten a second wind here. And so now you're going to use that very, very wisely. And the first thing you're going to do is walk away from some of that sorrow and grief. And then that's going to start gaining momentum out of this darkness, out of this confusion here. But look how long you've been holding on to this. I mean, it's been a minute. It's been a minute that things have just been falling apart on you and nothing felt solid. Like I said, you felt like you were just living on this house of sand ever just kept slipping through your fingers and you've been holding on it's just like hold on survive that's what pisces has been feeling <laughs> survive at all costs just survive look at this with archangel michael coming in with temperance i mean you really have been in survival mode it's time it's time to break out of this survival mode surrender that to the divine it's out of your control pisces it is absolutely out of your control there's nothing you can do about whatever it is that's gotten you so upset here it is in divine timing it is in in a spirit's hands just surrender to it with archangel michael's help here he's got the balance he's got the moon and the sun in each hand he is balancing the world in his hands so you're coming into this balance you're feeling this balance you're feeling this new hope this new day this portal i see a lot of portals through here for some reason i'm seeing portals like you're jumping timelines or you're jumping portals trying to escape this energy trying to escape that that hardship and that sorrow so you just keep jumping portals. You just keep jumping timelines here. <laughs> but don't hold yourself back with the three of wands. Don't keep waiting for those ships to come in before you make your move. It's time to make your move now. Get out of this energy and really make your move. First move is to walk away from the sorrow, walk away from the stress and anxiety. Really breathe this one out, Pisces. Take the time to breathe it out. Take the time to really meditate and sit and sit in some silence and let spirit will come in and guide you and, and um, help you through this. That's what they're here for. I mean, you're on the leading edge. We are all, as humans, we're on the leading edge of experience, of expansion, of expanding the universe. Spirit is helping us, is assisting us, is guiding us, but they can't physically help the universe expand at this point, not in the spirit world, not until they come back into the into the human experience here for the expansion of the universe. So, so don't forget that there's tools that are, that they can hand you, but they can't, they can't force you to walk away from it. They can't force you to change here. They can cause all kinds of chain of events to happen here, but they can't force the expansion here of Pisces. So that's completely up to you. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're changing timelines here for the expansion of Pisces. And I'm reading for a collective. So if this is not resonating, you know, maybe it's just not your reading, but you are expanding here. You are broadening your, your um, experiences here. And so you've included some of the harsher experiences here to, to really change the vibration, to expand the, vi the, the way you're vibing here. So, wow, it's really big. It's really, really big. And it's, it's painful. It's, it's painful, but you're on the other side of it. You're gaining momentum on the other side of this Pisces. So, wow, I love this. Look at the empress coming out you really are on the other side of this you are open to receiving now you're you're trusting yourself you're trusting the universe you're trusting in the people around you you're feeling very nurturing very solid so all of this brain activity all of these thoughts are really um going to change transform out of you and and really leave you that sense of anxiety that sense of doom is really walking away from it it's leaving your your experience here which i love goodbye good riddance look at the competition that's been around you it's been stressful it's been really hard to find your light every time you you thought you were about to grab it something would happen to pull you back down into into the darkness just experience after experience to really 
uh, hinder your thoughts here, to hold you back in your thoughts here. But there's an expansion happening here, Pisces, that is out of your control. <laughs> you are expanding. You are about to break this wide open and jump time timelines. You're, you're gonna you're gonna transform very very quickly here with the with the magician there. I, I love this. I really do love this. What else is in the foundation for Pisces? Emperor energy, yeah, bossing up, really taking control of your life now, taking control of your path, even controlling what spirit is able to handle here. You're taking a, a big stance on that. You're like, this is my life now. I'm going to take control of this. I'm changing my vibration. I'm changing my, finding my balance here and within the chaos. I'm finding no matter what's going on around me, I'm going to be calm. I'm going to be collected here. I've got this. I've got this. And you're starting to really trust yourself. You're giving up what, what's out of your control into the divine here, up to the divine. You're releasing it. And that's bringing in this real sense of security and stability and your your confidence is coming in again that that feeling of i've got this i've got this i've made it through the rain i've made it through i've, I've really got a grip on this now and um, it's going to gain momentum with the knight of pentacles it's absolutely gaining momentum that okay i can see it i can see the rainbow now i'm not just going to st stare at what i've been what has been lost here i'm just going to let that go I, there's nothing i can do those three cups are empty I can't fill them, but spirit is filling this fourth cup and I'm going to receive. I'm going to receive that now and you're ready to receive it. You're open to receiving with the Empress here. So, and receiving you will. You will absolutely receive this new beginning here. So surrender it. Time to throw up the white flag and just uh, surrender. What else? What else in the foundation? Yeah, look at this. Moving on, letting go. <laughs> getting the water uber out of there you're done you're done with the stress you're done with the anxiety you're done with waiting and preparing and planning and i'm not doing that anymore pisces says i'm just going i'm just leaving here i've put in all this work and effort and i'm getting out of here so good for you good for you because it was way too stressful way too stressful Look at this. You're bringing your partner with you, though. Offers of love. You are extending offers to others. You're extending your heart to others. You're opening up that heart of yours again and letting people in. There was a minute there where you were afraid to let anyone in and you had this wall up around you and your guard was very, very um, intact here because you were protecting yourself from all of the hardship that you had gone through, all of the trying times that you had gone through, but spirit took it down for you. And now you're just ready to receive and you're ready to give. You're also ready to give your heart. You're ready to express yourself and how you're feeling about those around you. And you're starting to let go of some of this anxiety and fear here. Look at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, the sun, <laughs> much, much easier, happier times coming into you. You're really about to leave this stress and this fear and this um, sorrow behind. You're really done with it. And I love to see that. I really do because it's in your mind space and that's easier to shift than your heart space. Your heart space is wide open and ready to receive, you're gaining momentum on some better feeling thoughts. You're climbing that emotional ladder into some better feeling thoughts. The mind is easy to shift. So let it all fall in your mind. Just surrender, throw up that white flag, throw up the flag of surrendering here. And it's just a, a matter of shifting your thoughts here. So I don't mind seeing the tower in our mind space. I don't like seeing it in the heart space, but I don't mind seeing it in the mind space because that's just a shift of thoughts, just a change of thought. So that's okay. You can do that. It's better than sitting in that grief. Seven of Pentacles, this is the energy coming at you. So a little bit of complacency coming at you. Somebody's a little bit bored around you. They want some excitement in their life. They want something to happen here. They've been kind of holding on themselves, waiting for something to happen. And they're feeling a little complacent, a little bored, maybe at their job or, or how they're making their money. They're feeling a little bit bored by that. Way too many cards here. So I'm just going to leave that there. And I'm going to take the Six of Wands there. So yeah, they're feeling a little bit bored. They want more. They want um, recognition. They want to be heard and to be seen at their workplace. So they're feeling very betrayed. Maybe somebody has let them go with the everything is fine coming out. This is the 10 of swords, but they're not really expressing themselves. You see all those swords plunged into her and yet she's just on her phone saying everything is fine. I'm good. I'm good. So whoever is around you, these are energies presenting to you, not your energies, Pisces. So somebody around you is feeling very betrayed and 
and bored at work and feeling like, yeah, why bother? Because I've been betrayed there anyway, and they don't really want to uh, put too much time and effort back into something that they feel so betrayed about. So yeah, they're, they're going through some kind of workplace. It looks like, um, issues here. So some kind of issues that they're looking to get out of, but they're, they're not saying anything yet. They're just saying, Oh, I'm fine. I'm good. Let's just, let's just um, do this. And they're just kind of distracting themselves from what's really going on behind the scenes. Queen of Wands. So they're feeling like they have some control in their heart space. They're, they're feeling like I don't really care what happens on the, at the workplace because I've got you, I've got Pisces, I've got magic, I've got what I need here. And so they're not too worried about it in their heart space, but something at the workplace with, with, the, with, with your person here. <laughs> what else is in their heart? What else is Pisces person feeling? Two of swords there at a major crossroads here, but also they have the magician coming through in their heart space. So interesting. You both have the magician in the same place in your heart space. This is the immediate future coming into you. So so yeah, they're preparing for this new beginning with pentacles because this pentacle is really sticking out to me here with this magician. I'm using the uh, modern witch tarot here. So, but they're at a crossroads. They're at a crossroads. They can't see everything. They feel betrayed. This is happening at their workplace. Some, some kind of fall from grace. They were, they were recognized. They were put up on a pedestal and then something happened. There was gossip, workplace gossip going on with them or some kind of betrayal happened there. And so now they're at a little bit of a crossroads. They're trying to create this new beginning for themselves when it comes to um, the workplace, when it comes to the workplace. So what's in their foundation? What's in their foundation? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're going to get some kind of offer in when it has to do with money. It has to do with their work. It has to do with their career. So that's um, going to come into them probably this week. They're going to feel a little bit lighter about it. They're not going to feel like they're so much at a crossroads when it comes to their workplace. And, and um, they're going to feel a little bit lighter about it. But there's a lot of competition there. For some reason, there's competition at their workplace. And they've been really trying to get ahead. They thought they were at one point with that six of wands up there. But no, now they're the wounded warrior at work. So Something going on with your person at work. They're feeling very betrayed. They've been knocked off their pedestal. They've been, they've fallen from grace somehow. And so, um, but they're not really revealing that to you. They know everything you've gone through with the nine of swords and the tower underneath this energy. So they're not coming to you so much with all of these issues of feeling betrayed and feeling like they're going to get let go, or maybe they've recently been let go and they're feeling really betrayed by that, really wounded by that. Um, you let them know there's some kind of offer coming in here that takes them out of this crossroads, takes them out of this um, um, feeling like they have to make a decision right now, not feeling so left out with the five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They felt very excluded. First of all, they were part of this big community, this teamwork, this, they were working on maybe some kind of project together, it felt very profitable, felt like this was the right way for them. And then something happened where they fell from, from grace here at the workplace. But Two of you know how to handle these kind of issues. You, you've been through so much worse here. <laughs> so Pisces, you're good. <laughs> so you can you can get through this together. You're very um, you're very helpful for each other. Whoever this person is, that is um, this this reading is for whoever is is sitting um, in your environment here, part of your daily life here for sure. All right, Pisces, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Hope you have a fantastical week, and I will definitely tune in soon.